Welcome to Priority. I'm so thankful that you've joined with me today. You know, I've noticed we have a growing audience over the last several weeks. Our audience has been picking up and people from around the world in different countries and just about every state in the United States have been watching. I really like it when you give us the thumbs up or the little signals that let us know that you're watching. Prayer requests are always welcome. We have a team of people here at International Offices that take these prayer requests and they lift them up before the Lord and we come into the power of agreement with you there at home, believing God to work miracles in your life. You know, I've really enjoyed the last few weeks in particular because we have just been interviewing pastors literally from across the nation and men and women that have been used of God in such a marvelous way doing great things for the Lord. Let me introduce you to my very special guest today, Pastor Jeremy Hyde. Pastor Jeremy pastors the Encounter Church in Fredericksburg, Virginia. I've had the privilege of being at this church on two or three occasions under other pastors in years gone by. But they are experiencing right now a real revival from the Lord. And there's a reason for that. And Pastor Jeremy is going to be telling us about that. He formerly had ministered in Michigan and now he's back in Virginia and uh, is so well thought of that in just a very few weeks, he's going to be speaking at the Virginia camp meeting in a special service there. Jeremy, it's good to have you with us on Priority today. Just uh, tell us a little bit about you and your family and let's, let's hear what God's doing in your life. Well, Bishop, thank you once again for having me. What an honor and a privilege. Uh, my wife and I, we've been married over 24 years. It'll be 25 years this November wow. of this year, November 1st. We've been in ministry uh, for over 20, 24, almost 25 years. Great. Started out youth pastoring in Michigan, pastored two churches there in Michigan, and then God moved us to the great state of Virginia. And so we've been here now over 11 years. We pastored a church, Kempsville Church of God yep. in Virginia Beach. Yep. And the Lord just blessed us there. We were able to pay off $1.4 million oh my goodness. debt. Wow. And then the Lord brought us here seven years ago to Encounter Church, which is in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And we're just absolutely loving what the Lord is doing here in Encounter. God's just moving in a mighty, mighty way. Well, when you start talking about Virginia, you're, you're close to my heart because I lived in Virginia for eight years, evangelized there for quite a while and uh, Virginia is just close to my heart and I, I know those areas that you're naming today and what a special harvest field Virginia is. It's a great state, a diverse state, but let's talk about Fredericksburg. What, what's your mission and vision in Fredericksburg today? You know, our mission, Bishop, is to be a place where all people can ex encounter God and experience life in Christ. And we are creating a culture yeah. uh, where people can have an authentic move of God in their life that will change their life forever. You know, I believe one touch can change anybody. Mm. And every week we're just asking the Lord to move in a mighty way. We're seeing miracles upon miracles take place here at Encounter and God's just moving in a mighty way. You know, I really believe that what he's speaking to us in this moment right now is in Luke 18 verses one through eight. You know, of course, as you know, it's the parable of the um, the widow, the persistent widow. And there in verse eight, Jesus says, when the son of man returns, will he find faith? Wow. Through everything we've gone through, through the pandemic yet still going through some of that, children being shot in school, mm. lawlessness in our land, I believe that Jesus is looking for men and women that will stand in the midst of it all, stand on his word, proclaim his word, and declare the great things of wow. God. Wow. Because I believe yeah. a persistent faith will re then a persistent faith will give us a prevailing power. Oh my goodness. Wow. The woman with the issue of blood for 12 long years, she had had hemorrhage, but yet she said within herself, if I may touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. Mm. And so we preach the principles of faith here in order to get people in his presence to receive all that God has for each and every one of them. And I believe that's what God's looking for in this day and hour. Yeah. For my generation, all generations, yeah. will I find faith on the earth? Mm. Well, that'll preach on any good Sunday and any day of the week. And it's preaching to me right now. Mm. I really believe, Pastor, that is a word for somebody 
watching. I don't believe that God moves haphazardly or accidentally. I believe that by divine appointment, He's brought you to this platform today to give that word to somebody watching right now, someone whose faith needs to be increased and built up to believe for the miracle that they need. You know, I really feel led to ask you to pray for the miraculous. Yes, I, I see it by what I read in your bio and what God's done for you and your family and that church that you pastor. I just sense that you're the man of faith for this hour right now that can pray for someone watching that needs a miracle healing, miracle restoration somewhere in their life. Take it and lead us in prayer. Father God, we just praise you and we thank you this morning. Father, we thank you that you're a big God. And Lord, we just ask right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we reach up to you. And Father, we take that persistent faith. For Father, we just thank you right now for the prevailing power of the Holy Spirit that you're gonna to touch each and every person today. Strengthen those that are weak, those that are discouraged, those that are down. Maybe some people are just weary and tired. Yes. But Father, I speak life to them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare, Father God, Lord, that you would strengthen those, oh God, those weak hands, those ministers that are weary. Father, I speak a word to them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare that the greater is coming in Jesus' name, Thank that the Lord. best is not behind us, but the best is ahead of us. And we reach, Lord, and we touch the hem of your garment today, and we receive all that you have for us in Jesus', in Jesus mighty name, name we pray. Praise amen God. and amen. Praise God. Well, Pastor Jeremy was praying for you, my friend, yeah. watching right now. And before we leave priority, I just want to speak a word of encouragement to you as well, that if God is for you, who or what can be against you? Yeah. You, know the old, you know the old verses, just like I do. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against you will prosper. And I challenge you today to live in faith that Pastor was talking about. Pastor, thank you so much for joining us. Please give my best to Crystal, your wife, and to Josiah, your son, and to your daughter, Lexi, and all the wonderful people there in Fredericksburg. I thank you for joining me today. And let me encourage all of you to be praying for the General Assembly. We're only a few days away from it now in San Antonio, Texas, July the 25th. It's going to be a good week for us, a great week, actually. And I need you to pray for the General Assembly and pray for me. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Hope to see you soon. God bless you all.